Give me your Mount Rushmore of wrestlers. Well, my Mount Rushmore. See, I, I, it's hard to do because I, I, I obviously love the old guy, old right. guys, but in a, in a contemporary world, it's Undertaker, mm -hmm. Hogan, Austin, and uh, Shawn Michaels. Okay. Because Shawn is the greatest of all time. Really? Yes. Better than you? Yep. Yep. Not not talking, but right. in the ring. Yeah. Right. I gotta, I'm gonna, I gotta, I can't, I can't. You gotta give it I, up to I, him. I knew that the day I came home, and my little son said, can you do a moonsault? I said, why, 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 why? Shawn Michaels can. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like when you, when your first match against Andre the Giant, what was that like when it they told was, okay, Rick? It was so ridiculous. <laughs> Cause he's a mass, a uh, mountain of a yeah, man. Yeah, he just took me over the head like, he said, boss, just have a relax. Normally I would say, I used to say to Big Show, right? <laughs> Big Show tells that story. Can I use some of my graphic language? Sure, go ahead. That's how I would if go. it's too bad, we'll... we'll, we'll, we'll no, 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 I would go to Big Show, sell your balls and your eyes. That's all you need to do. Right. So I give him a ball shot. Right. Big Show dropped to his knees. He's my size now. Right. Boom, boom. I, I, mean, I can actually work with him. Right. But when he's standing up, not right. a chance, right? Yeah. If I blind him, he can turn, don't, turn out to blind me. When I poke him, blind eye, walk away from me, and anybody... 120 pound uh, defensive back. You right. clip a guy. Right. You go. You just start to think of a, a logic. Right. Because no one's going to believe. Not going to have a test of strength with him. Right. You know what I mean. Right. But and he's a great athlete. Man, he played basketball at Wichita State. Right. Who who was who's bigger, Big Show or Andre? Andre. Five forty. He was that. Yeah. And com they tell the story of him drinking yeah. 102 uh, cans of beer. Six. I was with him. Downtowner in, in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Frank Von Waldring, 56. <clears throat> that was his original manager. I uh, I was re looking, listening to his documentary, mm -hmm. and they and he was so massive, and he was going to have surgery, and they didn't really know how much anesthesia to give him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, they said, well, he can drink, I think they said two-fifths of vodka. And it's like, okay, and so they deduced two-fifths of vodka and still walk. I mean, for a man to be drink two fifths of vodka or 102 cans of beer and stand up and walk out of a bar, that's not that's not normal, Rick. No, well, he listen. He had a couple of times he fell down. Well, who got him up? Well, they didn't. Know what happened? They took, they took him to his room in Boston one time, and he fell down on top of Pedro Morales. Oh. In, in between, and he was caught between the bed, and Pedro couldn't get out from underneath him. He literally had, they fought like it had, you know, 500 pounds on top of you. Right. And all you can do is try to nudge the bed over. Right. He was. He, he just fall asleep. They just leave him in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> so how do, you, how do you like, okay, okay, Andre, uh, Rick's going to win tonight or this guy's going to win? Because nobody could really beat him if he didn't want to lose. No, exactly. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> so was he. Was and, he and here's the thing. Harley used to suplex him. Yeah. And so I would say, you know, like this story, we were in Greensboro one time, and he, he was su su Harley suplexed him and slammed him, and I mean, Har Harley stood him up. Yeah. And I go, I go to Harley. <laughs> Did you ask my I mean, I, I was so, Harley had just unreal, not a weightlifter, but that body strength. Yeah, you know? Yes, yes. And um, he, I said, Did you ask Harley who could do that? He's got a Marlboro by now. Ask him what? I said, uh, slam, suplex, kick out on two. <laughs> <laughs> so he told him what was going to happen. <laughs> it was that. Nobody, nobody argued with Harley. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some of your favorite locker room moments? Oh, just the camaraderie. You know, you, you know a good locker room or a bad one, right? Yep. When you're winning, everybody's in a good mood. I don't know. I I just I don't know. My my thing is, I just want to be happy. I want right. I want to get along. It's hurt me financially mm -hmm. to, to to say that, but mm -hmm. rather than argue about it every night, right? Just beat me, right? Okay. If I gotta fight you for my pay, I mean, it takes all the fun away from doing it, right? If you're not having fun, you have. There've been days, I'm sure, when you go. I don't, I don't want to do this. Right. I don't want to fight with anyone. Right. I don't want to be part of it. Did, was it hard 
to be in a locker room or wrestle someone that you didn't like or did you not or did you get along with everybody? Oh, there are a couple of guys I didn't really get along with it, but you don't you don't you, you just you just internalize. You don't bring that to work though. No. You can't. You just make yourself miserable. The move so your move was the figure four. Yes. How did you come up with that move? I got that from Buddy too. Mm-hmm. That, well, actually, Jack Briscoe. Right. I did ask Jack if I could use it. Right. Um, Jack was great. Um, Jack and Jerry Briscoe. Jack and Jerry. But this is Jack Briscoe, junior year, Oklahoma, mm-hmm. Oklahoma State, right? Right. 31 and 0, 31 pins. No one scored a point on him. Wow. He was going to the Olympics and he got a girl pregnant. You know, back then, that yeah. took that took precedent. Yeah. yeah, you got you got a job. Yeah, Thir- <laughs> thirty one and old. No one took him down. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think about that when I talk to Jerry. And Jerry's still tougher now. More, to this day, mm-hmm. I see Jerry quite a bit. How many different wrestlers do you think you've wrestled over your career? God, everybody. Not not the new guys now, but I haven't missed anybody. Yeah. Because I remember you wrestling from, yeah, like you said, yeah, the, uh, well, Black Eric, Jack Mulligan, yeah. Hulk Hogan, uh, Sergeant Slaughter, yeah, Andre the Giant, yeah. Bobo Brazil, Abdullah the Butcher, yeah. Dusty Rose, Wahoo, Wahoo, Mr. Wrestling number one, number two, yeah. Baron Von Raschke. Baron so, Von Raschke, the, the, the great Baron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so how do you, how what difficult was it to go from? Good guy to heal back and forth. Because you're one of the few guys that could do it, right? Yeah, but I, I was a, I hated being a good guy. Did you? Yeah, because I, I don't have any, I don't have that, I, I don't drop kick, right? I mean, right. And I, all I got, all I really have is a, a good guy is, is a chop and a woo. Right. I mean, I, I, I still would rather be taking the bumps. I'm better. Right. You're better. I'm much that. better at being a heel. I mean, I'm looking at, you know, Andre the Giant, Sting, Randy Savage, Lex Luger, The Giant, Kevin Nash, Undertaker, Stone mm-hmm. Cold, Big Show, Triple H, Booker T, The Rock, Rowdy Piper. To Who's who? To name, to name a few. To name a few. And a lot of a lot of them, our younger generations, like yeah, I said, we yeah. go back and you yeah. talk about Abdul the Butcher, Bobo Brazil, yeah. Thunderbolt Patterson, yeah. uh, uh, the Junkyard Dog, yeah. all those guys, Tony Atlas. Yeah. That was a big, that was a, a, a oh, rival yeah. of you. Tony, I, I broke him in the business. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, a state high school champion from Roanoke, Virginia. Mm-hmm. So what what was your favorite I've, match? I've seen Tony, close close grip, right? Right. Bench, bench press uh, 505 for eight reps. He was a, he yeah, had unbelievable. The, 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 tri, the, tri, the tricep. I yeah. Really, yeah. Mr. World, I think he won. Yeah. Right he, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think maybe a couple of years ago, I saw him still wrestling. Tony, it, I don't know. Is, is he, is he your, he's brought your age, isn't he? He's younger than me, but I broke him in. Yeah. He's probably even in his 60s, though. Late 60s? Yeah. Yeah, Or mid, yeah. Yeah. So what was your favorite match to be a part of? If one match you says, you're going to remember, you remember this match forever. Um, Because they bring it up every year, the, the, um, either the I Quit match I had with Terry Funk. Mm Mm-hmm. In New York, Clash Champions, or the match with Steamboat, or the first night I met Jim Harbaugh mm-hmm. in '89, called Chi Town Rumble, where I dropped the title of Steamboat. Right. So, how do when you go into a match? How did they decide? Like, okay, Rick, tonight you're gonna lose the belt. Okay, Rick, tonight you're gonna keep the belt. How did how did they come to that decision? Promoter just asks you, and you do it. See, that's why I'm the you know, I'm 16 champion. I'm, technically, I've won the title 21 times. Right. You know, I told you about about New, when we were in New Zealand, right? Right. I'm wrestling Harley. Harley goes to me. Let's. <laughs> yeah, you got, I wish you could have met him. <laughs> like this, he goes. Let's do Ricard. Steve Ricard was a promoter. Right. A favor, and uh, you drop the title to me tonight. But that wasn't what was playing. No, no. But he just called it. <laughs> what, what am I going to say? Harley Race, and you, and I and you you pick her back up tomorrow, and then we head back to the states. I said, "Well, when I'll get in trouble." He said, "No, I don't know. Who's going to tell him here? I'll tell Ricard if he says a word. 
I'll come back and see them personally. <laughs> sure enough, they found out. So that's 60 and 17. Right. <laughs> then I had the same thing in, in San, San Domingo with Jack Veneno. Right. The hot potato, we had a full-scale riot. They were trying to give me the belt. I said, I don't want the belt, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I would, went to go back and get it. Right. And then same thing in, in um, the islands were rough. Right. Trin Trinidad with Brody. Right. Brody was a big, tough guy, boy. Mm -hmm. 